talk too much, and what happens is, is you lost your mission. And what you've got to go is, what you've got to define that is, is when I'm working with customers, am I on my mission? And it's okay at times you're going to get a little bit off pace. It's, it, at times, y'all will hear me sometimes I'm talking to a customer and I'll totally, I'll talk about something totally different. I'll talk about something on their t-shirt. Man, I love your t-shirt. I was talking to a guy the other day. He was, it was right at the point where they were having a bump on the note. They were having a bump, $100 on the note. And I started talking about his t-shirt. I had to break the atmosphere real quick so I could get them off of that. It was just too much tension. And then we got back into it. But don't let your mission get undefined. Don't let, let everything, the conversation and everything, get off, uh, off pace. So when you're talking to those customers, you always have to ask yourself, am I on my mission? And your mission is to match up your product with the customer's needs. And even if the customer doesn't buy, have you fulfilled your mission? Are they better, are they more knowledgeable than when they first came in? That's a win in my book. So the, 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 this, that's the first one. It's not important to you. The second one is you have no purpose. The reason why your mission fails is you have no purpose. What is your reason in getting into the car business? Why are you here? You see, if you have the right why, the hows are easy. No pun intended. You gotta have that why. And every one of us, 100% of us, the very first thing when they said, you know, why do you think you can do this? What's the first thing we always say? I deal with people. Are you still? Or now are you just on the take? You see, this is a giving profession. This is something that we have to give and we get stung a lot. This is very difficult for our mission that we have to work for hours out here in the heat. Our work, it, it's, you know, our, we were supposed to get off at 5 o'clock and we get all the way to 8.30 and the deal falls apart. That's what makes us cynical because it didn't work. I put into it and didn't, it didn't work. It may not work now, but it will work. You've got, to con you've got to continue to fulfill your mission and you've got to have that why. And maybe I, I can't cash it right then and there, but if you keep showing up and you keep doing it, it it'll pay off. It'll pay off. And you've got to have that right why. If you don't have a why in this business, this business is going to chew you up and spit you out. The great thing about this business is she's got grace. She forgives you right exactly where you are, and she'll let you start over. We can go downstairs right now and change our mind, each and every one of us. We can go downstairs and totally redefine how we take care of customers immediately. There's no, there's no period that it takes. Immediately, whenever you want to change, you're ready to change. But whatever you put into this, whatever you're willing to do, that's exactly what you're going to get back out of it. The third one is, you're not convicted. Are you a lifer? Are you serving 10 to life in this business? That's conviction. You see, let's go back to the original definition of mission. It's a good, it's, it's uh, defined as an important good or purpose backed by a strong conviction. Strong conviction. Not just conviction, strong conviction. And you don't get a strong conviction overnight. That's something you have to build your way into it. It's having that one more mentality that we've talked about before. It's doing one more thing. It's focusing on, am I 1% better than I was yesterday? I had a guy come up to me at the Coke machine the other day. He said, he said what, what, what's your goal today? He totally called me. He walked up behind me. I didn't even see him. He said, I, I, I've just been asking this question to everybody. What's, what's your goal today? I said, to be 1% better than I was yesterday. Wow. I was like, well, I can't say anything to that. He said, most of the time I stump people. That's all it is for me. I ain't got to beat nobody in this room. I got to beat the man in the mirror. That's the only person I got to beat. But you got to be convicted in what you're doing. You have to be convicted. And so what you have to do is you have to have that one more mentality. And the reason why you're not convicted in this business is because you're not sold on yourself, your product, or your profession. And the problem is it's got to be 100%. 
You can't be sold on yourself and not sold on your profession. You can't be sold on yourself and the profession, but not on your product. It, this is an all or nothing game. It's got to have all three. You got to have the Trinity. And so for you to be convicted in this business, you have to be sold on yourself. Okay. These athletes that get drafted, they have agents and their agents command that they get a pay before they even show up based on some of their, what they've already done, but not what they've proven yet. And you've got to command to your customers what you're, what they're, you've got to command what you're willing to be paid. You can command that. It ain't, it ain't a, a race to the bottom. Customers pay for the experience. They pay for, like Aaron was saying, they pay for how they feel. Make your customers feel good. The better you make them feel, the more they're gonna pay you for. You can make a sale or you can make a commission. And that commission is the experience. It's how you, what you're willing to give. And when it doesn't work out, it's got nothing to do with you. That's what I can't live with is, is what can I give to this and I'll give everything. I don't ever want to walk away It's because all of a sudden my attitude changed because they're not buying. No, when they walk away from me, even if they don't buy, I want to make it feel like they're, they just feel so guilty that they're cheating on me with another salesperson. That they just come back and say, I, I don't know, something about them. I just got to come back to them. It's a little bit more, but you know what, I'm willing to give you another chance. That's what that's all about. So as you finish your month, and as you begin August, this August, yeah, as, as you, it, it's a mission. What is your mission? Define your mission. Make sure it's important to you. Make sure you have the why, and make sure you're convicted. If you serve all three of those things, you're going to have an awesome, lucrative, career. We'll find your mission. Anything else?